Uh, now the question is, uh, why Four Noble Truths? Um, why do they exist? And why did the Buddha uh, teach uh, the Four Noble Truths? And now here we must relate that to our own uh, experience as an individual human being. Um, it is a fact, it's a natural fact of existence that we all as individuals possess this innate uh, desire to seek happiness and to overcome, to seek to overcome suffering. And that is a fact of our, fact of our natural sort of uh, existence. And, um, and this is something that is very instinctual and innate and no need, it does not need any validation or justifications for its existence. Uh, just as it is a natural uh, sort of instinctual kind of desire, uh, so do each of us have the right to fulfill that aspiration. Of course, suffering is that something everybody uh, wishes to avoid, and we also have the right to try to overcome that suffering. Happiness is something that we all aspire to achieve, and of course we have a right to fulfill that aspiration to attain happiness. So if this uh, uh, sort of aspiring to achieve happiness and uh, wishing to overcome suffering is our natural state of being, that is our natural kind of quest, then the question arises, how do we go about fulfilling that um, valid natural aspiration? Uh, so here uh, we find in the teachings of the Four Noble Truths an understanding of two sets of causes, cause and results, cause and effects. On the one hand, you have suffering, which is what we all try to avoid. And suffering comes into being from nowhere, but as a result of causes, it's, all, its own causes and conditions. And um, similarly, you have uh, happiness on the other side. And cessation can be seen as the highest form of happiness. Now here, when we talk about happiness, we should not uh, confine our understanding purely to the, only to the level of feeling states. Certainly, cessation is not a state of feeling, but it's, one could say that the cessation is the highest culmination or highest form of uh, happiness because it is a true state of um, freedom from suffering. So, and that true uh, freedom from suffering <clears throat> or happiness, true happiness, uh, again does not come into being from nowhere or uh, uh, without any cause. Of, co of course here, uh, from the Buddhist understanding, cessation, because it is uh, not in condition to existence, uh, cannot be said that it was produced by something. But of course, uh, actualization or attainment of that cessation uh, depends on uh, the path. It depends on an individual's effort. You know, it does not come, you, know, you cannot attain cessation without making an effort. So one could say that the path that leads to the cessation is the cause that leads to the cessation. So within the teachings on the Four Noble Truths, what we find are two sets of cause and effects, uh, which are all aimed at uh, enabling the individual to fulfill this fundamental aspiration to be happy and to overcome suffering.